I just invited a complete stranger over to my house. But before I frantically clean this entire house, I do want to say, it's not my fault, okay? So I wanted to make a friend, so I texted her if she wanted to hang out, and she just happened to be ready right now like today i guess technically so was i so i told her to come over and yeah so that's why i'm so behind with this finished cleaning and no i did not vlog it because you're welcome it's not one of those satisfying videos this is hectic now i gotta decide do I want to get a new suit, cute suit, sexy suit? So much messier. But isn't this so stinking cute? Fire emoji, fire emoji, fire emoji. The girl is in my backyard. Wait, I don't... <laughs> there she is, there's my friend. <laughs> I didn't film like the initial hello. It seemed a little rude. I didn't wanna scare away my new friend. The hangout has completed. She was kinda of tired, so it was just kinda of like a few hours in the pool. I tried to upload a bikini pic to my Instagram story to have this one boy um, message me to hang out. And I don't even mean it like that. I literally just want to infiltrate his friend group and have new friends. <laughs> yeah, he saw it. He didn't really respond. I did not end up filming with my new stranger bestie because uh, she wasn't really wanting to film. She wasn't expecting that. She wasn't really ready and that's okay. Final verdict, she can hang. That's, that's the best that I could ever want. That and the fact that she was actually a chick, okay? It's not like a dude showed up to my house. It's a girl. She is real and she's cute. No catfish. I approve. I look dead tired, you can tell. <laughs> I am. I am a big fan of those acne stickers. So much so that when I saw on TikTok that they come in Band-Aid sized, I got them. So yeah, tonight I'm going to put one on my nose and um, this wasn't cheap. So I have 20 pricey attempts to fall in love with this. And, okay, you totally could have put two in this one sheet. The hardest part is the crevice around your nose, which may not be a problem for some, but it is for me. It's yellow. <laughs> I kinda wish it was just white or clear. It's the next morning, <laughs> my morning voice, you can tell. I don't know the right way to pull these. I wish I had like a really good magnifying camera for this. I will say though, the adhesive is a little strong that I think it's definitely getting off some dry skin, which is nice. Ooh, wait, actually really impressed. Oh, wow. Oh my God, I still, okay, this is 10X magnification. So I figured I'd still be disappointed with what I saw. It is so hard to see my pores right now. I'm gonna get the boogie out of my nose and then I'm gonna send you a picture. <laughs> You ready? You're watching? Wait for it. Bam. Okay, well, <laughs> the, the, the middle part is just not a natural part for me. Okay, one second, one second. Yeah, this, this looks nice. Yeah, very, very cool, you know, coolio. I like it. Yeah. I'm in my car and I am about to go to Delot, which is a Vietnamese restaurant in downtown Dallas, uptown. And I'm gonna meet up with my Bumble BFF. The last time we went there, there was a waiter there that was so cute. Blue eyes, blonde hair, and he ended up giving me his number. And then we ended up messaging somewhat. And then I quickly learned he was not as cute under the mask, <laughs> which I hope he never but yeah, then he sent me really, really weird things, like fish gape selfies. Like, we just, like, like, like that. And then he sent me a picture of a dog pooping, which I don't think I really needed to 
see that? And then basically that's it. Like he never asked to like hang out with me. I don't understand. <laughs> so I may or may not see him, but it's gonna be a little bit awkward um, because like seeing a dog shitting, I don't really know how to respond to that. It's gonna be awkward, but that's okay because I live for this. So <laughs> I can't wait to go. filter way too much and the fact that it makes me look really hot um he wasn't there which was perfect for an actual friend hangout it was terrible for youtube content i was kind of bummed and the waiter that was there just wasn't as good so um but i enjoyed my pho except for the longest time i didn't realize that you got the little pho accessories from like a little buffet bar so i was eating half of it and i was like this is so bland. I don't want to tell anyone I feel bad for my friend. Like, why does she like this place? And then I realized, like, everything was over there, which is a little disgusting because anybody can kind of pick at those little salad bar type things. It's late at night at a grocery store, and I just kind of want to show you what I got. This is a more expensive store, but they have really good meats because uh, I don't trust Walmart grocery stores for their meats. I don't know. They soak them in something weird. This is my favorite coffee creamer. Lucerne French Vanilla. Lucerne does it best. One box of Chobani. New York Strip Steak. Two of these for $7.53 for members. And I'm a member, blackberries. And then look at this, what I got. I got a little sushi pack. This was the last one like this. But yeah, that's all I got. Sorry, 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 sorry. I am sitting down, this is kind of serious. It's been many months since I have created content or even wanted to create content, but I still ended up having kind of a soft comeback here on YouTube because first we had my assumptions video and this was actually pre-filmed many months ago because I assumed that I was gonna hit 10K a little sooner, but how are you supposed to expect to hit 10K when you don't even put out content? So honestly, I'm just lucky that I surpassed 10,000 subscribers. So yeah, I mean, it's a pretty good video. I, I would go watch if you want. And then of course I hit you with an Xmas haul video and I just needed to get that video out ASAP and I wanted to film it. I didn't wanna miss the tradition, but um, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and now after you saw all of those random video clips, I am now going to give you a montage.
much to work with because I told you I haven't been creating content at this time. So honestly, that montage was pretty good. I mean, not like there wasn't like a lot of substance to it, but I made it like really pretty in editing. It took me several hours to do. So I still hope you enjoyed it and you like this video. It is currently New Year's Eve. As you can see, I don't have a lot of plans going on, but I dressed up and that is something. A few weeks ago, I thought I was gonna have plans with a guy, but that didn't work out. That was soul crushing, but that's okay. You know, like I thought I'd be able to attend a party, but then it happened and I am scared shitless. But yeah, it's kind of weird because it's a holiday, but nothing's happening as if this holiday even exists. But then I remember it is, and I feel much lonelier and sadder, which is a very sad kickoff to the new year because overall, I don't think I'm that sad, but I am pretty disappointed. And I know a lot of people are at home bored and lonely and also feeling disappointed. So just so you know, we're both losers together. I'm still gonna celebrate a little bit. I'm gonna use my Uber Eats to get some crawfish. And that's always a really good and disgusting time. And as always, thank you for watching. I love you. Good night. Bye, guys.